everyone, Gene Peach with Rusty How To. In this video we're going to look at how to package vinyl records for shipping. Selling vintage vinyl records can be a great way to make some money on the side. Of course you need to know what to look for when purchasing vinyl to sell. We'll make sure to go over that in a future video. Vinyl has been making a comeback for quite some time now. Some argue that the music sounds better. I know for me, it's all about the experience. From the smell and feel of the vinyl, to the process of removing it from its sleeve, putting it on the turntable, and delicately placing the needle. You don't get that with streaming. Anywho, shipping vinyl, especially highly collectible and sought after records, needs extra attention. Vinyl already has a reputation for bending and scratching easily, so we want to avoid that in the packaging and shipping process altogether. For today's demonstration, we're going to be using the Rolling Stones' Let It Bleed album. What's special about this particular copy is its first pre it's the first pressing. It was pressed in 1969 at Monarch Pressing Plant. The condition of the, both the record and the sleeve are somewhere between a very good plus or VG plus or and uh, uh, near mint or NM. The Stones just repressed a 50th anniversary edition of this album so collectors are on the lookout. These get anywhere from $25 on up to $100. Uh, this particular copy in its condition would most likely go for close to $100. But enough of that, let's get into why you came here today. Rusty how to you. Before we get any further, please go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every week, and uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and share this with your friends. So here's our record. As you can see, it's got good corners. When shipping, we want to take it out of the sleeve, and on a, especially on an open vintage record like this one. This record is stored in a rice paper hi-fi secondary sleeve. Here's the original pink sleeve that comes with the record. We keep the factory original paper liner inside like so. To protect the vinyl during shipping, we are keeping it outside of its cover. So putting the cover back into the plastic outer sleeve then we put the vinyl behind the cover, but inside the plastic outer sleeve. This prevents seam splits during shipping. It's very important for a pristine record such as this that has no seam splits or cracks uh, that it stays so upon delivery. Okay, so we're going to set that aside, and we have two different types of boxes. We'll make sure to include information about these different boxes in the description below. This one's a little large for what we need, but I wanted to show you anyway. This box can be used for shipping multiple records or a larger box set such as this Miles Davis album. So that was a double mailer. Uh, now we're going to get into using a single shipper. We open it up, place the album inside like so, and we fold it over. Now as you see it's in the shape of a triangle. Uh, triangles are the strongest shape and this design ensures that the vinyl's corners are protected during shipping. So we then run a strip of tape along the top and now we're ready to ship. We're going to write, we're going to write the to and from on the outside and someone's going to be very happy with this album. Well look, we've been swamped over here at Rusty's Bargain Warehouse. Rusty's there now listing items for the eBay store. He wanted to show you how hard he's been working, so if you'd please stick around for just one more minute, it sure would mean a lot. Let's go take a look at Rusty. <laughs> 